What's up, Carter's Life? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm your host, Carter Share, and this is my life. This is day number two of draining the pond and beginning to drive the excavator to start the dredging process. I woke up early this morning and ran the pump all morning, and we finally got most of the water out. And now it is time for the fun part where we can drive the new long reach excavator, the new toy, and try our skill at trying to dig this thing out by getting all the water into the deep end, continuing to pump it and make this thing look so much better. This pond is so ugly and has been neglected for probably over two decades of runoff. There's muck and trash and sediment, and a bunch of nasty stuff in here, and it's never looked pretty from the day we move in. So when we're done with this, it's gonna be a beautiful pond that you would want to jump in all summer long. But right now it looks pretty nasty. You can even see the monster truck ruts over there. That's where we drove the monster truck across. And it gives you an idea of just how much muck. It's probably like four feet of muck, dead leaves, sediment that we need to scoop out. It looks nasty. It's almost pumping dry. Not much water coming out left. This is as shallow as we can pump it because the pump's just not run anymore. There's just too much mud and debris and sticks and leaves all souped up in there. It's just clogging it. This thing can pump a lot of heavy stuff, but it's basically looks more like this. I mean, it's like liquid. It's like, it's just can't do it. It runs for a minute and it turns off. It's just a nasty mess. So I guess we just start digging. We are tremendously shallow. I mean, all this was underwater. So I'm gonna just put some time in the machine and start scraping. I think I'm gonna make these sloppy sediment piles and kind of put them up on the edge like Chris was suggesting. That'll help, like the water will drain back to the deep end. It'll dry out. Then we can scoop that into the dump truck. We can haul it out of here, but it's a lot. A lot a lot i mean you can see how many years of mud it's literally a stratified dirt layer you can see there's a dark layer and then a tan layer and many many layers as you go to the top it's like looks like a fossil archaeological site is what it is what it looks like it's pretty cool just gives you an idea of how many years this has been sitting with no maintenance and just slop it's time to fire up the dinosaur so let's dig climbing up in the seat let's get this thing fired up go shutting the door buckling up so let's go ahead and pick the bucket up I'm gonna drive her to the edge and the goal is to connect all these ponds so we're gonna see just how to do that there's a pond right here well, this one for sure looks easy. Let's see if we can reach this. I kind of want to do it as far as I can reach, like that. Oh. Okay, um, not great on the controls. I gotta take some time. This is literally like my first time driving. So it's gonna take me a minute to relearn these things. It's been a long time since I spent time in one of these and this arm being really long definitely changes things. Ah, there we go, that was better. Okay, so that's better connecting the two, but we also need to make the deep end quite a bit deeper, I think. Oh, there's some dry dirt under there. taxing at the moment because it's you know I'm learning a new skill it's a little frustrating but it is fun there she is okay all right that is flowing in the right direction that is looking good okay let's see if we just kind of like push on this if that'll get us there 
I mean, things are moving in the right direction. I mean, that's everything I got just about. We're gonna try turning the pump back on and see. Just dug for a while. This is all so sloppy. You can literally see it in the time lapse as I'm picking it up and putting it there. It's just sliding right back in. It's just too wet and saturated, so I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna try working over in some of these areas down there where it's dry. And I think I'm gonna to try to like leave a border so I'm not like splashing in this water. I wanna leave the water somewhere and just kinda, of, I really wanna get rid of this water. I've been running the machine for a little bit and I've kind of learned that the sloppy stuff here is just too sloppy to deal with. The more you dig it out, it just kind of sloshes right back in like a liquid. So my plan now is to work over here in these dry spots and try to manage the water to stay kind of in the trough and always keep that as the lowest point. And hopefully as it fills, we will be able to keep draining it and pumping it. But this stuff I think is dry enough because it's, I mean, it's sloppy, but not liquid. So I'm gonna go grab the dump truck and we're gonna try our first dump truck load and load that thing up and go start hauling some stuff away. Climbing up the dump truck. Before we start her up, I'm gonna get this camera up here running. So we'll have like dump truck cam. It feels pretty good. We got the dump truck angle. Let's try this thing. It's a big truck. Oh, kind of small for dump trucks as they go, but still pretty big. Let's fire her up. She's a big diesel. Got it in place, let's see if this works. I've never scooped into a dump truck before. Oh man, this will be interesting. Let's start her up. Real interesting. That is one heaping scoop right by that tripod. Oh, goodness. Oh, I gotta be careful. I can completely wreck this dump truck. I'm not careful. This is literally my first ever scoop into a dump truck. Oh my gosh. It's hard to see all my gosh, I'm a little nervous. Okay, I've got to go a little lower and further. Okay, I think we're officially above. Let's just go slow. Oh, it's so heavy, it's rocking the truck. <laughs> the whole truck just jumped. I hope I'm doing all this correctly. I love how this thing has like a sunroof. Shut that, we got the AC going. Okay, then let's just keep scooping, let's do another one. Okay, heaping scoop number two. I am getting better at driving this thing. I'm sure I'm gonna make a mess. And I'm sure I may wreck the dump truck a little bit in the process. Okay, there we go. Let's dump. Let's see this dump truck dance. <laughs> I wonder if you guys can see that. I hope you can. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, we'll just keep going. Da 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 Hopping off the ground a little bit. Sink it in. Dig. Okay, that one was a little sloppy. Okay. Beautiful dump. Beautiful. All right. 
that was three. I don't know how many scoops it's gonna take to fill this thing up. I'm hoping I can just stuff it huge because we don't have to go too far. Boom, that is an absolute heaping behemoth. Call that one Big Bertha right there. I'm gonna drop and miss a lot, I definitely know. Okay. We are looking good. I'm starting to see it like pile up. The goal is to make the least mess as possible. So nobody likes to clean up. That's not true. Some people like to clean. I don't like to clean. I like to make a mess. Okay, I can't really like see up there, but I'm assuming it's a pile. Oh my gosh, I'm like rocking the whole truck. I'm kind of just trying to like spread it. There we go. I feel like we could probably get three more at least. And really just load this dumpy up. Switching gears, we're going from one big machine to the next. But here's, I guess, the water coming out. It's nice that it's just really water filtering out and not mud. I spilled that, so that's not actually coming out of the dump truck itself. Oh, she looks like she's on fire, but she's just kind of smoky. It's an old diesel truck. Here we go. And away we go. Oh, she's heavy. She is heavy, we're full. She feels heavy, for sure. I'm driving a full dump truck. This is my first time, this thing is heavy. We don't have to leave the property. I'm just going down the driveway and we're gonna go find a place to dump this somewhere in the backyard. The goal is to collect all this dirt and make a motocross track. So I'm pretty excited about kind of doing two projects in one. We're gonna go to haul all of this dirt Clean out that pond, make it healthy, beautiful, and literally like make jumps and bumps and really fun stuff in the backyard. Normally we're paying for dirt, so to be able to dig it for free is pretty exciting. I don't know how many trips of this dump truck we're gonna have to do, but I think it's gonna be a lot. 200? Kind of my, that's my guess, initial first guess right now. I wonder how the load in the back's looking, because she's driving great. I definitely feel the weight. I wonder how we're gonna do in the grass. So we're driving through the woods right now. Oh man, this is interesting. I'm having a blast. It's, I feel like a kid just driving big toys. Like that's literally what it is. As a kid, you have little versions of all this stuff. And as an adult, I just have bigger versions of the same thing that I used to play with as a little kid. So it's pretty cool. So I have an idea of where I wanna dump. We are now back out here into the field. 
So I want to go all the way around. It's doing great in the grass. This dump truck is great. I think we should come through here. Okay, now I gotta figure out where to dump. It's time to dump. Am I spinning it out? Couldn't be stuck, could I? That would be bad. That's full throttle. I'm nervous about the first dump because I don't really know what to do. Just kind of making it up. Boom, right here. Drop it in the park. Let's see, PTO. That's the tarp. PTO on. Raise. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. There's one thing I forgot to do. I gotta release this pin thing. It's important because I gotta do this. There we go. Oh, it's already splatting. Oh, we better get moving. She's already splatting, splitting out there. This is how you do it. So we're gonna put this to raise. Give it some gas. In neutral so we don't drive. And you can see it behind me, it's raising. Okay, we are going to now pull forward a little bit. I feel a light. I want to just double check to make sure we're actually empty. It's the first time, so I'm just going real slow with everything. Oh, it's empty. I mean, there's like just a tiny bit right there, but that's a pile. Oh, there it goes. Yes. Look at that. It worked. That's our first official. Probably one of 200 piles. We're going to dump them out here. They will dry. This is the start of our motocross track. I'm hyped. Yes. been a lot of work so I'm just gonna run a time lapse and try to get a bunch of work done here we go well we got the thing stuck as I was about to literally park it Maybe good thing we did move it and that didn't happen overnight. So I'm gonna call Chris, he was just here. Oh man, we're gonna see if he can give us any advice because that's really scary and really big and really heavy and everything else. We can't get this out tonight. We might be in some serious trouble. You. All right, now I got it stuck. Did you really? Yeah. I was driving sideways, I was getting ready to park it, and I guess I was a little too close and it slid in. So it's, I, I got the boom kind of holding it, and the one tread is like in the pond and the other is still up on grass, but it just slid. Alright, sounds good. Well, good thing, good thing the best excavator operator in the country lives less than five minutes away, so he's gonna come save the day. Because I, that could, this would be, without Chris, we, I'd be really, really worried. Because this is a, this is our biggest toy yet, and one that we can't get stuck, because this is the one that gets everything else we get, stuck. We get all of our biggest toys stuck. I mean, it's fun, but. This one's really scary. The I do. The fire truck was scary. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. At the time, I thought that was scary, and in hindsight, that's nothing. No, this is really scary. <laughs> it's scary to drive this thing because it's so big. That... You did a nice job cleaning up that shore, though. It looks nice. You should do that everywhere. Oh, uh, like that angle? A nice. A little. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Just do that on the whole floor. Oh my <laughs> gosh, guys! I didn't think this episode was going to turn into a a stuck in recovery. Um, but I was just about to give you the recap of what we did here, and it looks insane. 
the way this looked yesterday to now is literally like unrecognizable. It looks like a big mess and it kind of is, but it's a work in progress. This stuff here is so sloppy and so wet. It's quite, it's basically liquid. It's like a smoothie or a milkshake. So we kind of have it as piled up here as best we can. And this will begin to dry. And we made a nice deep end and a nice little like zigzagging channel. So the stream will continue to flow. This will continue to fill. And then when we need the work, we'll come and we'll pump it out, lower it down. Hopefully this is dry and we're gonna start scooping it off into the dump truck. Back to the field where we're gonna be making a motocross track from all of this years and years of debris just building up in here. Tons of it. Oh, it looks bad from this angle. That's not good. Yeah, we're speculating on what Chris is gonna do. He's certainly not bringing a bigger machine to pull it out. That's just, I'm hoping he grabs it, does a little something finesse, turns the treads and just whoop, there you go. Uh, just, uh, you know, don't, don't let that happen again. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. not super stuck yet. <laughs> yet. Yeah. Dude, this is this all as soon uh, as I saw that and you doing the turns, I was having flashbacks of the skid steer. Like, yeah, yeah, now, now I know when to stop. You know, you gotta stop and you, assess. You stop you while just, you're still ahead, right? Yeah, you just stop, pause, reassess for a second. Yeah, don't just keep running the sticks to try and pull yourself out. Um, it's tempting, but every movement has made it worse. Yeah, exactly. So. You just gotta pause for a second. <sighs> Starting to look like a little bit of a cabelco, honestly. <laughs> Is that Chris here to save the day in a new truck? I guess he was coming from the job site. Okay. Let's see what he He's thinks. Look at his license plate. That's Let's Chris dig right. 18. Yeah, that, I think that might be Chris. Let's dig. Oh boy. Oh, this is going to be my video thumbnail right yeah. here. Go stand beside <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go it's stand beside it. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, no. no. Get closer and do that. Oh, good thing Chris is also a YouTuber, so he's vlogging every single day digging, and I'm hoping he can help us out. All right, well, we're running out of daylight, so you get to hold that, yep. and uh, I'm gonna work my magic real quick. All right, I'm really hoping Chris has a little bit of magic. It's all finesse in, his, in the fingertips. It's all <laughs> knowledge and skill. That's what makes these so fun. It's kind of like a sport. Let's see what he can do, because all I did was get it worse. Oh, he cranked it up. Oh, no. Right, this is really scary. Getting a feel for something. I don't know what his plan is. I'm worried it's gonna tip. This thing can only lean so far before it will tip. Okay, so he's, he's finding new footing. Now he's driving the tracks. Oh no. Okay, now he's doing a bit of a wheelie. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at the reach. It's still touching. That's insane. It's going to slide again. It's going to be a slide risk, I think, if we keep working. I guess he's doing a little work. He can't help himself. <laughs> he's got to clean it up a little bit. <laughs> and even if that looks so easy. That was a little scary. You just, yeah, it didn't even, it didn't even like a challenge. That's kind of what I figured needed to happen. I just didn't know how to do it. Yeah, I was like, I had a feeling he probably knows that right, uh, you know, cheat code combination to put into the sticks. Y-Y-X-B-A-L-L-R-2. <laughs> Just, I'll just finish the job for him real quick while we're at it. All right, well, that was quick, but also pretty scary. I think overall much scarier than the whole fire truck situation. So as the toys keep getting bigger, the stucks keep getting stucker. And that one, I think without Chris around, we would be in big trouble. I don't know if the barber boys would have been able to come and help us with that one. This thing is just so big. I don't know what you need to pull it out if it got worse. We got lucky. We got very, very lucky today, guys. It's, we treat it like a toy, but it's not. That was scary. Were you saying that was close to not coming out? Uh, it was getting there. Really? It was, Oof. It was getting there. It was getting really close. <laughs> oh, God. Those machines don't have a lot of like a push or leverage because of the, the boom. That's what I figured. So it's, it was... Yeah. Once you get it very too much, it's going to be... 
we were always coming out and it just slid on me and so i just quickly rotated and put my shovel oh, so down you, you were sideways when it slid yeah oh okay so i was yeah. just trying to come and park it here <laughs> and so if it was going to tip i just wanted to make sure my bucket was there yeah, well you did the right thing you did the right thing and then we tried to and then he stopped yeah, yeah, Well, yeah. we tried a couple things and it got worse. <laughs> and I was like, call Chris. I was like, call Chris. <laughs> Just like, call Chris. I was like, we gotta <laughs> stop right there. I called Chris this morning and I was like, it's stuck. And you're like, really? I'm like, nah. <laughs> but then literally a few hours later, I'm like, okay, it's really stuck now. I was like, all right, we got a question or like, we have a problem. <laughs> yeah, no, we, it got stuck. Uh-oh, the man with the plane. All right, who threw it out? Chris, <laughs> I got it out. Yeah. Thank goodness. I'll have to show you a picture. Okay. He said it was almost actual stuff. It, it, was, so, it was getting okay. to the point where... It was getting to it. Yeah, that's well, it's, scary. Well, the problem is, like, it literally fell into the hole you just dig. Yeah. It with mud, so... Yeah. I knew yeah, there was no structure. Yeah. I figured once that tread went over the edge, it's just going to keep going. It's going to keep going down. It's not the ideal learning conditions right there. <laughs> yeah. See yeah. you next time. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I hope that goes viral. Just like that, he saved the day. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's go ahead and shut her down. That is enough. Oh man, look at the step. I can't even climb up here too easy. Shut her down. Ugh.